Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Brandy Gibbs and I'm back. I just got off of work, didn't have lunch, and I stopped at Popeyes. I wanted to try their new fish sandwich. So this is their new fish sandwich. It's the flounder and it looks like so. This is the flounder. And these are the pickles. So I got the flounder and I, and these are the uh, fries. I love their fries. And I also got an apple pie and a strawberry drink. Y'all know I'm supposed to be drinking this pop, but I love a strawberry pop. Okay, let's bless this food. Father God, bless this food that I'm about to receive in Jesus' name. I pray, amen. I ain't gonna be on here doing no mukbang, but I did wear my shirt that my brother gave me. It's melanin. Yes. Okay. Let's try this fish sandwich at the chicken, chicken place. Okay. It's okay. I can make this at home. But I want to try it. It has that um that bun and the pickles that they use on the what is that their chicken sandwich. Overall, I give it a thumbs up. Hi y'all. I see y'all. Okay, y'all a little wops at it, but. So, like I was saying, I want to run to, um, want to run to Alta to, you know, get my skincare. It's getting better though, but I do be feeling like different breakouts, which is crazy. Uh, yeah, I do see different breakouts and I have like these dark marks that I'm trying to get rid of. So, let me just show y'all what I've been using that I really want to switch up. And I like these products and they work really well, but right now I need something a little bit stronger, but I've been using the Dermatologica. This is the Clear Start. This is really good. It's a foaming wash. And I also like use this interchangeably. Uh, this is the Mario Badescu Acne Facial Cleanser. These two are pretty good, but I need to move on to something different. So I'm still gonna keep them, use them once my face gets better. I got my uh, lashes on top. Don't even mind the lashes. I use this from Tatcha. This is her the Rice Polish Classic. I use that, I like that a lot. It takes away to me like that dead layer of skin and just makes me look more radiant in my opinion. Now this is the Vanish PFB by Chroma Bright. This is like a skin brightener, ingrown hair relief. So like if you shave under your arms or your bikini area, wherever you shave, you place this and you won't get any kind of hair bumps. We don't want no bumps down there, right? So, or even, even under our arms. You, so this is really good and it works really well. I ordered this on Walmart's website. Let me show y'all really quick. It runs about $34, but it's really good and it lasts a long time. I was using that on these areas because it says that it uh, you can use it for skin brightening, ingrown hair relief, waxing, razor bumps, and I was using it on my face. It worked, but I want to use something else. I want to use this for what I purchased it for. So as far as taking the makeup off, I put some more micellar water in this here tart. This is not the tart. Uh, my cellar magic it was okay but i actually have bioderm in here the last of the bioderm that i had got from a free boxy 
uh, free box. So, you know, one of those subscription boxes that they sent me. I ran out of my toner, so I definitely want to go and get a new toner. So far, there are two toners that they said was pretty good, and I was looking for something that, you know, I don't want all that little pretty stuff. We have rose petals in the toner. I don't want all that. I want you to cut to the chase and do what you came to do. So, Ordinary was number one, and there was another one that I saved on my phone that I might end up getting because it, you know, targets what I'm looking for. I have oily skin, acne prone skin, so it's either this one or the other one. This one is only like $9.80, and it works well. And this is a glycolic acid 7% toning solution. And the other one, I can't remember, but you might see it because I'm going to the store today. Okay, so lately I've been using the lactic acid. These two from The Ordinary, these are pretty good. The lactic acid, the hyaluronic acid, and the neosamide. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. I'm going to bring it in. And these are by The Ordinary. These are pretty good. I had stopped using it, and as you can see, I'm low. So I need to, like, re-up. But, I mean... I've been using it for like three days and I can see a difference in my skin. My skin looks more bright, you know, and youthful. So I need to um, pick up some of these to use. I did have this uh, from the Glow Recipe. They said this was a good toner as well. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon PHA BHA Pore Tiny. Now this worked, but like I said, I need something stronger. So I won't be I won't be repurchasing this, but I do recommend for those of y'all who have pretty normal skin to use this is really good. Another item from the ordinary is an AHA and a BHA. I've been using this. I use this twice a week, and so far it's really nice. It works well. Um, it looks like like blood. It has that red? Yeah, it works really well. It's like. It doesn't have, it's not appealing where you peel it, but it just like exfoliate it. It's ex, exfoliate your skin within 10 minutes. So you leave it on for 10 minutes and it exfoli exfoliates, you know, your skin. Um, I don't know if I should use it in the AM or the PM. I can't remember. So let's talk about oils really quick. I purchased this here from Tatcha. It's pretty okay. It wasn't like, ooh, I see a big difference. Your skin does glow and everything like that, but I done broke the top, y'all. I done, it didn't fail on the floors, and I broke it, so, yeah. But I still have some left in here. This is how it looks. I don't even know how much I have, but I probably have a little bit left. It's okay. When I repurchase this again, I would say no. This is really good. This is a Blueberry Kush 300 mg CBD face oil. It's 100 blueberries, vegan collagen, AHA, BHA boost. And it's what I use on my face at night, sometimes in the morning, you know. And this is real. This is some good stuff. You don't even need much. I take like one, maybe two, three drops, and I place it on my face. And then I let it absorb, and I lay down. So I'm about to jump in the shower. I see you guys when I get ready. I ain't gonna do nothing to my hair. I'll probably keep the same ponytail. Um, I'll see y'all in a minute. Let me get What's up, my love? So I'm back. Just finished showering and put on my um my little two-piece outfit. Yes, and I got this from Lowly Wholesale. It's a two-piece and it's fitted. It's a little on the snow side, but I ain't going nowhere but to the um, to the store. I'm gonna hit up Alta, Sephora, and I'm gonna look in Home Goods to see if I see a piece that I was looking for for my dining room. But right now, <clears throat> excuse me. Right now, I'm gonna do my face, and this is the Laura Mercier. This might be a long vlog because. Or maybe I'll break it up into two sections since it's um, the weekend. But this is the Laura Mercier. This is the Pure Canvas Primer. This is pretty good. I purchased the one, the smaller one, because I wasn't going to go through a big one that fast. So I ended up getting this one because I'm trying to use the ones that I have. 
and then I also got the small Tatcha. This is the liquid silk canvas. And I apply, I apply this on the inner part because I'm oily around here. My nose and my forehead and my brows, child. I'm just, your girl is oily. And I just take like one pump of this and I just, uh, and I put it on the outer part. So that my makeup can stick. For now, I'm going to be using this. This is from e.l.f. I got it from Ulta. This is an eyebrow pencil. And I'm in the shade Brunette. I have y'all on a different angle. I could put the mirror right here. Let me see. Yeah, that, that'll work. So, yeah. And it has like some reddish in it, but it all comes out right once I do the concealer and all that stuff. Now, I have thought about microdermabrasion, micro, um, is it microdermabrasion? I can't even remember, but I remember last summer we had went to Papa Do's and I seen these two ladies. Keisha and I went to Papa Do's and there were two ladies. I don't even think I had the footage. I, I, girl, I'll be erasing that stuff. Oh, and they had their brows done and it looked so good. I think they did, one they said lasts longer and looks more natural. I can't remember what it was, but... And the other one, I for sure didn't want because it looked like tattoo. I didn't want that. Yeah. And it looks crazy when it um, heals. So. This nurse and I was thinking about um, getting ours done. But we ain't been talking about it much. So I guess because of everything that's going on. The weather, the pandemic, so much. So, that's how I do that part. And then I'll take this one, and it's the one in caramel. It's like kind of like my skin tone. Maybe a tinge lighter than my skin tone. Let's see. Yeah, just a little bit lighter than my skin tone. You can put like some foundation, but I don't know. I've been using this and I'm going to use it till it's gone. And then I take this right here from CoverGirl. This is my favorite and I don't like the new one from MAC either. This is called the MAC Eyebrow Boost. I don't like the color it, and I don't like the brush. They made the brush small. I'm going to show y'all. I don't do nothing for my brows. You see? In my opinion it might look like it did something on camera but I don't really care for it it's not they always trying to change stuff and it's not like the one that I I had before but I guess I'll use it I'm gonna um put that on Okay, so then I'll take this. This is from Instant. This is from Maybelline, and it's called the Instant Age Rewind. And this is a multi concealer. You can use this for anything. This is like my favorite concealer because it hides the dark circles, and I just put place it on the lid, like so, and I place it underneath. I shouldn't have did that because I do this when I'm going to work because that's all I use. And then I put pot on and I just keep it pushing. But I'm gonna, I probably will end up using some kind of um, foundation. I think I want to wear some, um, yeah, I think I want to wear eyeshadow. So I'm going to buff this out. Matte. Okay, so I'm just going to use Huda Beauty. This is the new palette and I'm going to use this color called Teddy. It's like a brown, like a brown. It has like some, I want to say pinky hues in it. I'm just going to put that in. The, and then I'm going to go in with this Revolution Pop palette that I picked up from TJ Maxx for $4.99. They always have these palettes. And they have a brown in here too. It's called Passion. And then I'm just going to go over it with Passion. Like so, just windshield wiper motion, back and forth, back and forth. If you don't know how to put on um, eyeshadow, 
just use this method back and forth or you can go like in a circle of motion I don't have time to be doing all that like this I ain't got time for that we're gonna go back and forth some people are good at it girl I'll just be putting this eyeshadow on and calling it a day okay now we are gonna take this color right here it is called It's from Mac, and I don't even use it. Matter of fact, it be in a box, y'all. And it's called Spectacle of Yourself. This is like an oldie but goodie. And it looks like that. It's like a burgundy. And you guys liked how that color looked on me. It, let me see. It barely shows up. So I'm going to use this little brush. And I'm just going to apply it to my lid. And it has like some gold in it. It has some like gold in it so we're gonna place that on the lid all over and I don't know if it's old or what but we're gonna spray some spray on it and we're gonna dip our brush back in there and see it don't look like nothing right but it's cute when you Place it on the lid and you put your lashes on and whatnot. Okay, my hands was looking a little, a little ashy, so I'm gonna put this retinol cream on my hands. Okay, now this is called Paparazzi, and this one is called Spectacle of Yourself. So if you were a Mac head back in the day, you probably have this in your arsenal. And I'm going to take this on my brush and I'm going to just place it like in the center to just wake it up. Give it a little, you know. With the same brush, y'all. I'll take this brush. It already has the product on it from when I used it the last time. And we're going to use a burgundy. We're going to use like this color called Raw. Yeah. And this is called Raw. Uh-oh. Right here by my thumb. Or my corner finger. This one right here. And I'm going to take that. Put it on there. Tap it off with my finger. You ain't got to blow. Just And just add it to the outer corner. Like so. Y'all know I'm not one of those who get on here and say I'm a makeup guru. I'm no way a professional makeup artist. Never ever claim to be. Don't have a kit. <laughs> I just buy makeup and put on what I like. While that is drying. I am going to put on some foundation. I want to use this. But I want to show some love to some other foundations that I don't normally wear. So let's find one. No, we're not doing Fenty. We're not doing Too Faced. I don't, I don't even like Too Faced. The foundation. I don't like the old Too Faced either. Maybelline. Nope. About this hourglass what y'all think should i do hourglass today it's easy
I was not going to do too much to my head. I'm just put I just put it back in a ponytail. Don't know how the back look. Lord, have mercy. Don't know how the back look, but we're going to put this on and call it a day. I'll see you in the next vlog until then. You guys have a blessed one. Love y'all. Thanks for rocking with your girl.